Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're out at Movie World on the Gold Coast. I'll show it to you like behind me, but I'm still trying to get in. I was originally coming out here because I was like, we're in the middle of the mask mandate here. So Dreamworld was really dead last week because of that. Is it gonna be the same here for Movie World? But I've currently been stuck in about 20 to 30 minutes of traffic just to get off the freeway and I haven't even tried to find a car park yet. So I think that's kind of gone out the window. So it's gonna be interesting to find out when we get inside how many people are wearing masks, how many people aren't, how are they mandating it, and all that sort of stuff as well as how busy are the attractions. It's kind of our new plan. The other thing which I'm really interested to find out is have they released any like merchandise for like masks and stuff like that? Wow, I think the Q line, let's turn right, yeah, oh. Words I don't want to say, hang on, let's turn the corner, there. That's the end of the queue. So, let's just try a car park. Okay, so, finally got into the queue. It's 10.37, so let's see how long it's actually going to take us to get inside the park, okay? Still not the front, but kind of show. Yes, down there it goes, but it actually does double back. So we've already come along this way, and now we're circling back to go along this path. Right next to Green Lantern, which is actually running today. Okay, just got 11, so we've just got outside the gates. So that was... 23 minutes. Bloody hell, 23 minutes to get alone. Saying that, let's quickly do a rip around because this place being this pack does not fill me full of any form of confidence. So, first thing we're noticing when we go past, Batwing is down. However, surprising as it is, Green Lantern is open. We're watching that as we're lining up. Just League is also open, and I'm not going to go down to it, but Hypercoaster is also open. So, let's turn and go back this way and see what else is going on in the park. Okay, so first merch location with a bus for any form of new merchandise like that. So let's head down here and see what's going on with Arkham. Okay, so came back to Arkham. It is still closed. It has been removed from the map from what I've been told from insiders. But there's still no word if this attraction is going, if it's just going to be renamed or anything like that. But for the moment, it's not an option. Let's keep circling around see what else we can see. Okay, so I started to find out about masks, but we've seen there's a new sort of jacket here with a little Superman logo. Anything on the back? Nope, plain on the back. And that's $80. We've got a few new Batman and Superman shirts, a few different Looney Tunes stuff as well. And I think some of the stuff we've seen before, but I think this Superman button up for 50 is new. Let's see how else there is. Okay, also looks like for 100 we've got a new sort of like bomber jacket here, which is actually really nice, like a velvet, and it's got like a little heart with a kitty on the front, and then just the kitty on the back in big with the butterfly. And there's also a new kids Tweety one for 40, and ah, turn, we've got Tweety and all that sort of stuff there, okay? Okay, so those jackets are the only new merch I could see there. I did check there as well, and they also said they didn't have any masks for sale. And apparently the photo booth is the only place that actually has them. And they're just your basic, like, paper surgical mask. So, yet again, it's another sort of thing. And Moonwood is just not willing to monetize it, which is unfortunate. Because it's just something they largely lack here. But saying that, let's keep checking the source here. Any other new merchandise? Well, I'm getting tongue tied already. Okay, so just got in here, and 120. We got this really nice sort of like jacket or thicker T-shirt for Wonder Woman. So that was the front, and this is the back. We've also got a little kids bomber one for 80. Kind of just has some nice little quotes on the back. There's also a T-shirt, which is the 50 for two. 30 for one or 65 for three. So it's really good. I guess that one and then the same pricing on this sort of like leopard print one. 
There's also some hats and bag for 50 for the bag and 20 for the hats. Okay, and the last new thing is $50 for like this Hawaiian tea. It's kind of cool. Actually, saying that, I think this is also new. It's like Roadrunner. And that's also 50. Okay, so let's go check out the WB Kids area first because usually we kind of go the other way down here towards Scooby Doo. So, so let's just change up. Let's go this area first and then see if there's anything going on, anything going on down there. And we'll go from there, okay, guys? Okay, so I've kind of just gone into this WB Kids area, but so far, this is obviously the most packed place in the park I've found so far. It's just kind of ridiculous. But saying that, let's head around here. We'll do the circle like normal and see if we see anything else. Okay, so the first new thing we're seeing is the trains back up and running. I'm pretty sure it wasn't last time we were here. I'm gonna point something out just because I'm this far back, because it's actually being used today. Last time I was here, I kind of showed you guys what was inside this whole Taz's rest stop. It's like a parent's area. There was no one in there. I checked that before I started filming as one you can actually see from the outside just literally on the footpath walking past you can see in there but i also did walk down and make sure there was no one else in there before i filmed and then i came back to the beginning and set up the whole filming in there so just because i did get some messages people concerned at why i was filming in there that's why i knew that it was empty and i just want to show you guys what it was like inside but like i said people are in there so let's just keep going around like normal okay, as you go past you can see this little miniature car thing the queue is way out the door, so oh, squeeze past people. Can I show you the, how the park is today? Okay, so we're kind of finished down this part of the park, so let's start heading, turning down here towards Scooby Doo and the rest of the attractions, rest of the park, and see what's going on. Saying that, I can see they've actually got a food truck out, so let's go over there and see what that actually has. Okay, so this is the new food truck, and here's their menu and pricing. Let's not fall down the curb. Okay, if you guys need to pause it to kind of get a guess to what's going on, but let's keep moving around. Okay, just after that, so food truck there, we turned to like this little sweet treats sort of area, and they got an Easter sort of thing up, which looks like you get four churros and a series of different things to dip in there for $10. It's kind of cool. Okay, and it does seem like the Gotham City Cafe is back up and running. Here's the menu. I don't think they've changed anything on it, but Again, I didn't really eat here much to actually know. Okay, let's get moving. Okay, as you go past, Doom is still down. However, the ride vehicles are back on it. Just walking up closer. So, that's kind of cool. So, yeah, hopefully it means that's open soon. However, the whole area is closed. In the past, like last few visits we've had, you've still been able to walk around in the area, but must be doing some sort of additional work in there. But we'll keep moving around and see what else we can see. I did check in Blaze Comics. They've got nothing new or any other personalized items like that. We're also seeing, obviously because of how busy the park is, this additional little food place here is open, along with the hot dog location as well. And then you can just see down that sea of people that way. Okay, so I'm not gonna bother going down there. Wild West Falls is down that way. I can see a sign just there. I'm not sure if you can see it, if someone's blocking it that it's sitting at a 90 minute wait, which is concerning. And we've also got a massive queue to enter into the showcase area here. So let's turn around, we'll head back towards the front of the park because one of the staff members did just tell me there is somewhere I may be able to get a personalized mask. So let's check that out for you guys. Okay, so I finally come down to this place called Stitch Up. It's a little custom thing here when you get towels and stuff. But it's also the only place I've been able to find in the park that has any form of like personalized masks but it looks like it's just you sort of cricket stick on with thing which is nice but it does add more to why can't they and why haven't they done more for the park but let's get moved around guys okay guys i just decided to leave. It's way too busy in there. You can't get onto any rides. I've been able to show you guys the updates that I was wanting to, which is cool. Um, the other thing which is interesting yet concerning is they none of these staff were able or few of them were willing to tell me what the current capacity is. However, 
I was able to find out apparently 50% is their COVID safe occupancy level and I have to feel they are way over that like just trying to go and estimate from like how long it took me to get into the park how long the rides were and all that sort of stuff they have to be sitting at roughly 80 plus I would say so it is concerning also we were able to find out very few people in there were actually wearing masks and a few of the stores required it but also weren't enforcing it so it's unfortunate but it just doesn't feel safe in there at the moment so saying that on a very scary and or sad note for Warner Brothers Movie War on the Gold Coast I'm gonna have to call it a day hope you guys have enjoyed if you have please don't like subscribe and hit the bell get notified next time I upload also the bottom of the screen like always are my socials I'm trying to actually get better at that, I really am. But saying that, I guess that's a wrap. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.